What is going on guys? My name is Mazen and I'm one of Dion Training's student support team and today I'm gonna give you my five tips for studying for your CompTIA a exam to be able to pass on your first attempt. Now let's get to it. First tip is to build a study routine. Building your study routine is something absolutely crucial for you to be able to study for this course. Now especially if you have a full-time job or you're still at school or if you just have any other things going on in your life. Building that study routine is going to reinforce the habit of you studying every day. Now it's going to be different for each and every person. For me myself, I would like to study two to three hours each day and I could do that alongside my full-time job just because I could. For you, it will be absolutely different so you should experiment with it see what kind of duration you can study without being burnt out because you want to be in focus and in shape for each session that you study because the information is big and the A plus exam has a lot of things for you that you have to digest. So you need to make sure that you're getting everything down. All right, second tip is do not study passively. Now this mistake, I have fallen into myself, but you need to be aware. If you are using our course to prepare for the A plus exam, which is a video course that you can access on Udemy or our website, DionTraining.com, you can fall into the trap of studying passively, just watching the videos, binge watching them without getting the information down. So I would recommend that you take your own notes while studying. Do not just study passively. If you feel like anything that you don't understand, you need to write that down. You need to note it in the study guide that you can print or you can just create flashcards for these kind of situations. Do not just watch the videos and go through them because you're gonna forget a lot of it. As I said before, the A plus course is huge. There is a lot of information that you need to digest and so studying it passively will absolutely hinder your results. All right, let's get to the third tip. The third tip that I have is hands-on practice, which is absolutely crucial for this course. Especially if you don't have any kind of IT background, hands-on practice is gonna be very, very important for you. Now, if you have a PC laying around at the house, I recommend taking it off just piece by piece and then trying to rebuild it again. Now, when you try to rebuild it again, it's probably not gonna turn on from my experience. And so you're gonna go through a lot of troubleshooting, you're gonna search, you're gonna use the information that you find the course, which is absolutely great because a huge part of the course is about troubleshooting. If you don't have a PC laying around, you can also use the hands-on labs that are provided with our course. They're gonna provide most of the hands-on practice that you need for the course and even more, which is something that I really recommend because it's gonna help you maintain that information and build this background of real life experience that is absolutely crucial, not just for the exam, but also for your real life job as a technician. All right, the fourth tip that I can give to you is to use the exam objective. Now, along with the course, you're gonna find a PDF of the exam objectives or you can find it online on CompTIA's website. You're gonna find the objective PDF for the exam, for both the core one and core two exam. Now, I need you to read through that and go through each bullet point and make sure you've gotten the information about every single thing in that list. Using that PDF is gonna make sure that you've gotten all the information you need and you haven't missed out on any videos, anything that you need to study, any kind of hands-on practice that you need to do before taking the exam, which is something that helped me personally, especially in the core two exam, which is really huge. And there's a lot of commands and a lot of syntaxes to go through. And so using the objectives will absolutely help you maintain that information and make sure you've gotten everything down. The fifth tip that I would give to you is do not take anything for granted. This mistake I've also fallen into because I come from a little bit of an IT background and I've built PCs before and so sometimes I would take some objectives for granted like yes, I know this and yes, I can do this, um, but then you don't. And then when you get a question on it, you're not gonna be able to answer the question. And so do not take anything for granted. Go through every single objective, go through every single domain and make sure you understand it and you get it down completely. And this ties perfectly with my last step of using the exam objectives because you need to make sure that you've gotten everything down and you don't miss anything to make sure that you get the most amount of points in your exam. All right, and the last tip that I would give to you, which is a bonus for sticking around till the end of the video, is do not overstudy. 
if you've gone through the objectives, if you've gone through the videos and you've done the practice exams, you've used them, you've studied them once, twice, three times, you are ready. Just go on and schedule exam. If this is your first certification exam, like it was for me, it's gonna be a little bit stressful. You're gonna feel a little bit not confident. You're gonna feel not sure if you are going to pass or not, but trust me, if you follow through the videos, if you check the study guide, if you've done the practice exams, you are going to pass and we trust that you will do. So good luck and please let us know if you pass your exam, post it on our Facebook group at facebook slash group slash Dion Training. You can also send us a ticket at support at deontraining.com whenever you have a question or when you pass your exam, just let us know and let's get you certified.